A quick note on cause and effect. Cause and effect are at the heart of experimental science. The examples in the experimental design video illustrated cause and effects. Notice that the procedures were the same. Two conditions have to be in place so that one can be compared with the other. The first example compared the car's sound with a hand on the wiggling part to the car's sound with no hand on the part. In the second example, we compared facial emotion recognition between those with TBI and those without TBI. The conditions can be arbitrarily chosen and assigned. They are said to be independent of anything except chance or the researcher's choice. However, in the TBI example, the TBI patients didn't have a choice to be in the TBI group. They were in it because they had an irreversible condition that could not be randomly assigned. They had to be compared with a matched control group. In other studies, a group of people can be split into two or more groups, with one group serving as a comparison or control group. Think of a study where one group gets a drug and the other gets an inert substance, a placebo, with the groups formed by the flip of a coin. That is random assignment to levels of an independent variable, which is the presence or absence of the drug. Presence or absence of the drug is expected to have an effect on another measurable variable, an outcome variable, for instance, the amount of pain experienced after taking the drug. Since differences in that outcome variable depend on differences between the groups, the outcome variable is called the dependent variable. In a nutshell, independent is to dependent as cause is to effect. Another way of thinking about it is that cause happens before effects. You have to do something first to get a result.